Have you ever noticed weeds pop up where you've got disturbed soil? Have you ever wondered perhaps why that was? We know that they're a natural band-aid for the environment, but what's driving it? I'm with Jackie Checkley just outside of Lee and Gatha and she's got some ideas. Jackie, how are you? I'm very good, Tim. <laughs> weeds, Jackie. Not weeds, indicator plants, Tim. What's happening here, Jackie? We've got disturbance of the soil and we've got these plants popping up. What's driving the whole thing? I do have a theory, Tim. So wild radish is in the brassica family and brassica do not form associations with mycorrhizal fungi. So they don't need fungi to get along in life? Correct. What so, a fascinating plant. So when we've disturbed the soil, we've upset the fungi that's in the soil and the first plant that comes along is ones that don't need fungi to help them grow. We often ignore the role of fungi in plant health, but fungi is actually quite a fragile thing that will go away if we disturb the soil too much, won't it? Absolutely, and to our de detriment, we disturb the soil. So the fungi is the super highway, it accesses the nutrients and brings the nutrients to the plants so they can grow healthier. And this little plant here is doing something with the soil, it's covering over the scar while the fungi re-establishes. Would you imagine that this is going to stay dominant in this place for too long? No, this will go away once it's done its job, once the fungi gets re-established and more desirable plants will grow. You can tell a lot about your soil and what's going on with your soil by the type of plant that's growing in it, can't you? And there's a great book by Nicole Masters that helps people with that. Absolutely. So Nicole Masters' book, For the Love of Soil, goes on to explain a lot of um, these plants as indicators of what's happening in your soil below, without the need for a soil test. So people need to get reading? They do, absolutely. Get learning. Watch the Farm Learning Channel. Embrace your weeds. Absolutely. They're not weeds, they're indicator plants, Tim. If you know someone with plenty of indicator plants and no idea why they're there, send them this video. And if you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to hit the little subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, support the channel, and we'll keep trying to get good messages out. Jackie, thank you so much for your time today. It's been brilliant. Thanks for coming out, Tim. Glad to see you.